that you know we saw the Black Panther trailer. And to be honest, the Black Panther trailer broke the internet as expected. And you know, there there have been a lot of people doubting Marvel and the MCU. And you know, this um presentation that Kevin Feige showed us, uh to me, it, it's I mean, I, I I I've already been on the Marvel train. I, I ain't really jump off, but a lot of people have a lot of people are back on because this is nuts, and the Black Panther trailer is epic, it's phenomenal, it sold everything, and this is something that is going to really go down as one of the best, it, not just superhero films, but films of all time, in my opinion. And, you know, with with the weight of this trailer, at, at the end of the trailer, there is a clip of someone who is Black Panther showing their claws with a gold uh, type of outline, and... A lot of people don't know who this is. Now, a lot of people would say Killmonger because in Black Panther 1, if you guys don't know, Killmonger has a, has a similar suit. His suit is a, is Black Panther-esque, but it also has gold outlines. And then a lot of other people have other questions because at the same time, even though that's what you, know, you think is what, everybody and their mom knows that Shuri is supposed to be next up in line, which is where, you know, which is where I'm at as well. I believe that Shuri is next up. And so... Um, I am going, and so a lot of people are asking who the heck is the Black Panther, and I'm going to tell you both reasons that can support both people, okay? So, who is the Black Panther? If, if it is Shuri, that, that's where I believe, I believe this Black Panther is Shuri. There is no other way to put it, um, there is a scene in the trailer that shows Shuri standing in the palace where the, when, when the whole entire... Uh, basically, Wakanda has been flooded, and that actually does happen in the comic books. Um, and when I saw that scene, I said, "This is about her. This movie is about her." That's what I believe. I believe Shuri is going to be the the main centerpiece of this film. I believe Shuri is the Black Panther. I do believe she's going to have help from other people, like the leak said. But Shuri is the Black Panther. There's no other way to put it. That's her. That's her. If it was Killmonger, we would know, and that's not him. Okay? Now, if it was Killmonger, <clears throat> this is how they would do it. If Killmonger is the Black Panther, they would have to go to the ancestral plane and raise him from the dead. Now, what we know from Moon Knight is that people can be risen from the dead, um, but even if they get risen from the dead, and even if they go back to their body, that doesn't heal what it, it doesn't heal things that happen to them now um wakanda does have advanced technology they could most likely uh, heal the wounds that killmonger had received now the leaks say that riri takes the heart-shaped herb and she goes to see killmonger in the ancestral plane now to be honest with you guys i don't um i don't think it's killmonger but if it is another way is that he could have been alive the whole time maybe he didn't die and maybe they found a way to keep him alive and keep him stable. But I doubt that has happened. So, yeah, that is kind of both ways of – that. that's kind of both sides of the spectrum. But me personally, guys, I, I honestly think that if – and I know I was against Shuri becoming the Black Panther because, I mean, honestly, um, I do wish we did a recast. I think a recast would have been better in my opinion. But I do think that, you know, the way that Ryan Cooler is crafting the film I think is going to work beautifully and perfectly. Because the way that it seems like it's going is that everyone's going to have a key part to play in this battle with Neymar. And my fear was kind of that Shuri was going to be the main benefactor, um, kind of like a lone wolf, lone ranger type of deal. And and if she goes up there and beats the crap out of Neymar, it's like, yo, like, where's the training? Where's it? Where's that? With the way that is built, you know, she has a tight support cast that's going to be there with her. I mean, we see a Koye. Um, I think Nakia is going to take a back seat in this film. To be honest with you, and obviously Mbaku is gonna gonna have a part to play in this battle, and maybe sure he gets the right training, maybe sure he has. I'm not sure, but uh, from the way it looks, guys, it looks like Shuri, she's, she's her. Shuri is the Black Panther, and there's no other way around it. And if you guys didn't see, we also got to see Riri's Iron Heart, which I will get into in another video. But as it regards to who is the Black Panther, it is Shuri. It has to be because in order for this to work, in my opinion, it has to be someone that is carrying the legacy of T'Challa. 
And as much as I love Killmonger, I don't think he can carry the legacy that t- that T'Challa left off. And I don't think it will be as meaningful as meaningful as it would to Shuri. I think Shuri taking the Black Panther mantle is to honor her brother T'Challa. And her ruling Wakanda is to honor her brother T'Challa. Because I do think we might lose, I think Shuri might lose her mom in this big flood. And, and I think that death is going to lead her to end up taking the, the mantle and then she takes the harsh heart hardship herb and you never know we might get a scene with t'challa with t'chaka and with her mother in the end i think that kind of story is way more meaningful and it will have more weight to the future of the mcu's development of superheroes but also to help this story right here so that is my theory and that is what i believe Please like and subscribe below. I'm going to be following all of these project cl- uh, projects closely, and we will be giving in-depth information about all these projects. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful day. Stay crispy, and may the force and the love of God be with you. Peace.